What's going on everybody? My name's Chris. Welcome to Bourbon Saint. Today we're going to be reviewing Bullet Barrel Strength Bourbon. Alright guys, today we are here with a Bullet product. So this is Bullet Barrel Strength and this is Batch 5. Now, Bullet makes several different types of products. They have a Bullet, Bullet Rye, uh, Bullet Barrel Strength, a whole bunch of different products. And the strength on this is actually 62.7% alcohol. So we're talking high proof. Um, Bullet does source most of their whiskey from MGP. So MGP is the company that makes a whole bunch of different spirits. Um, it's located in Indiana. And they provide bourbon and you know spirits all over the board for a lot of different companies out there. But Bullet does source most of their whiskey. This product, though, I think is one of their better expressions. As you can see, I've had quite a bit of this. Um, some shared, some drank. But overall, um, as far as the Bullet line goes, I haven't been too impressed with the regular Bullet. Bullet, Bullet Rye, I don't know that I've ever had. Um, but the Barrel Strength, it's probably one of their better expressions. So without further ado, guys, let's get into this. All right. All right, so as mentioned, guys, this is almost 63% alcohol. Um, so you can expect a dark color, probably a lot of wood notes in this. Um, color is definitely dark. So I would say this is a dark amber color leading into um, even like a mahogany, at least in my light. Not sure how it looks on the camera there, but... It definitely is a dark color, um, and I would expect that. It's it's good looking though. Um, it's a it's a good looking bourbon for sure. I'll tell you right now. Um, I've had this in a couple old fashions. This is really good in an old fashioned. So I haven't got any, any notes yet, but I just want to throw that in there. So, all right, let's go into the notes here, guys. Okay. Definitely wood forward. Um, I think they say this is a blend of six to eight year old bourbons that they put in this. And the wood note, being barrel strength, they get a lot more of those wood tannins usually. That's the case on here. Um, it doesn't have a overly pleasant vanilla caramel nose. Um, I forgot to mention mash bill on this, guys. Um, mash bill is 68% corn, 28% rye, and only 4% barley. So quite a high rye mash bill in this. Um, corn, again, dominant grain, but the rye is also quite high. 28% is high for a, a, a bourbon um, mash bill. So I'd expect some, some cinnamon notes and pepper notes. And they're there. Um... I think I'm getting more of the cinnamon than pepper on the nose. It's actually got um, kind of what I would describe as a, a grassy, a grass note, if you will. A lot of times I pick that up on either um, rye whiskeys or really, really young whiskeys. Um, I don't think this is really young. It should be a blend of, as I mentioned, about six to eight years. So, Again, the nose is decent. Um, it's really not impressing me that much. Um, it's it, it's okay. It's okay. All right, let's give it a sip here, guys. Cheers. It's got a good burn going down. That's for sure. Whew. Tongue's burning a little bit, 63%. But it's better. It's better on the palate than it is on the nose, I'll say that. The nose had kind of a funk to it. Um, on the palate, the wood is coming through. So wood on the front and then the burn on the back of the tongue for me. I'm not getting too much citrus. Um, again, a lot of times with a higher rye mash bill, I'll pick up more citrus notes. Not really getting that in this. Hmm. Okay. 
Now, I'm sure a lot of you guys watch uh, Jason at the Mash and Drum. If you don't, go check him out right now. He always describes MGP products, so products from you know Indiana where they source their whiskey. He always picks up a dill note. I've never picked that up, or never, I guess, knew what that note was until just now. First time. Um, but I think I get it now. <laughs> I think I get it now. Guys, with, with, with tasting and nosing whiskey and bourbon... A lot of times, my what I pick out as a flavor isn't going to be the same as what you pick out as a flavor. Um, a lot of times, what I smell isn't going to be what you smell. Um, we associate different flavors, different notes with with different things. So that's really cool to me. Um, discovering that, like with you guys, um, I, I've never had that before. I guess in front of a camera, at least. So, but yeah, I, I, I guess it's kind of a dill note. It's a dill note in there on the taste. It's decent. Um, that that taste a sip had a little bit more of a sweetness, almost like a candied sweet tart a little bit. I would say on the tongue, like a like a Smarties candy. If you've had Smarties candy before, it kind of had that on the tongue. The burn was much better. Um, first sip, that burn of course got to my tongue, but second sip, a little bit of sweetness. The oak is still there, um, but toned down from from uh, the first sip for sure. Yeah, that dill note. That dill note's there now. Wow. Well, I'd say sip number two was my favorite sip. Um, first sip just burned. Second sip had decent flavor. Third sip kind of just... It, it wasn't uh, wasn't overly impressive. Um, for me, guys, if you if you're a big cocktail guy and you like to taste the bourbon in your cocktail, this is a good option. Um, price wise, it's I think I paid fifty to fifty five dollars for this. That's pricey. Um, that is definitely pricey. So if you're gonna buy a fifty five dollar mixer, I mean, more power to you. But if I'm paying 55 bucks for a whiskey, I want to sip it and enjoy it myself. So, um, again, I've had in a couple cocktails, and it's really good. Um, but straight on its own, I, I don't think it's I don't think it's uh, it's up to the 55 dollar price range. I've had the Old Forester 1910, the 1920, which is about 60 ish dollars. I'd rather have those over this myself. Um, the proof is great. Proof is great. Uh, I'm a barrel proof guy. I love high proof bourbons. This is great for me for that. But the flavor just leaves more to be desired. Um, I definitely think there's better bourbons out there. For 55 bucks, there's so many options. So many options. A lot of them I've already reviewed. A lot of them I'm going to be reviewing down the road. So overall, guys, it's decent. Um, but if it were me, I'd probably lean towards um, a different type of a different type of bourbon, I guess. Definitely try it before you buy it, guys. Um, who knows? You may love it. If you're a fan of the regular Bullet product, the four-year Bullet Orange Label product, um, you'll probably like this. Because, again, it's it's pretty much the same juice, just a little bit older, higher proof. But for me, it just, it just kind of doesn't quite live up to what I think it should for that price. Thanks so much for joining me today, guys. Stay insane. Thanks for watching the video today, guys. If you liked what you saw, go ahead and hit that like button and that subscribe button. Also follow me on Instagram at Bourbon Sane and Facebook Bourbon Sane.